Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mubarak and I come you to our seventh. I'm not sure these days I'm not counting properly, but our first week can see. Yeah, but I think it's either the seventh or sixth, if not the eighth. Uh, lecture of creating a complete uh, marketplace that will be running on Flutter and Laravel as its core back end technologies and will be available on all platform uh, mobile application of android and ios and also websites and also a administrator's panel so by the time we finish this uh, particular project you'll have got enough knowledge that can help you to uh, almost first face any basic uh, project that you might need to do but on your own so i commend you to not give up i commend you to when you face challenges, when you get challenges, to really stand strong and see that uh, you understand everything, because everything that we're doing right now is doable. There is no magic. Everything is really doable. There's no magic behind. So make sure that you don't give up. That's the whole point. Because when you finish, when you actually finish at the end of the tunnel, you'll see that uh, everything will make sense. All right, with that much said, let's go straight into our today's business. So I'll go ahead and start our timer. So there we go. Our timer has started, as you always know, always do 40 minutes. And uh, let's jump straight into the project. So our project is there. Yeah, Where well, we stopped in the previous lecture. We we'll stopped in the previous lecture. Remember, in the previous lecture, we were able to add the photos uh, of a product through the what through mobile applications as well as deleting these uh, these uh, photos something like that so let's take it from there now let's take it from there so um now let's go ahead and uh, add some photos so i'll come here and say add photos and let's say pick from gallery and then i go ahead and select the photos for example i can select these shoes you know you can even select micro photos and then select photos the application will start uploading as you see when it finishes it marks it as done so, le so let's take it from there however this tick is not uh, looking very clearly uh, it does not look like uh, it is actually has been uploaded however you can even see the status from uh, around okay so let's go straight to our stock item create category and um, then make this maybe with opacity maybe a little bit five i don't know yep maybe let's just make it two however we can give it maybe border let's give this one some borders uh so let's give it some decoration okay decoration already has it let's give it some border so you can someone can actually see that there is something in between there to attract someone's attention so to give it borders you can just simply come and say uh border you can say border and then say border all and then you do like that so you see there is that white thing there so you can also give this border maybe the context and say um if uh we can give this border context like the way we did okay uh on top there so you can just simply say widget that item if it's pending it should be that why didn't tell you nettles or that one Okay, so this border is going to have context. However, for it, for it, we can for it, for it we can make it um, a little bit uh, more darker, like give it shade of nine hundred something like that. All right, do it with uh, right, making it real darker, so I can be able to see it properly. Ah, nine hundred is too much. Can make it maybe seven hundred. 700 so someone can know the context of something properly i think that that is okay that is okay yeah, maybe yeah the opacity yeah i hope you can see that i hope you can see that all right so let's make this an opacity a little bit five let's make it five all right so yeah i think that's fine i think that is fine Okay, so that is when actually the photo has been uploaded to, uh, online. So we can even add more photos, something like that. Yeah, let's add, for example, this one. 
this one you see it is there it's been uploaded all right so that is okay so let's now proceed let's proceed you shall not sleep there all right so we come now to select uh select stock subcategory let's select stock subcategory so i click select, select stock subcategory uh let's go ahead and make this one a little bit uh better let's make it a little bit better so we go to stock subcategories so let's say stocks stock subcategory so instead of having this stock subcategory can just say select stock select product category select product category there you go all right so uh so you have your yeah, select stock product category okay so when you click on it it takes you to the what it takes you to the to the stock subcategory screen so i'll press press quote and click on it remember this screen you already have them so i'll press there and go in it so there we go uh first of all i want first pause this image thing let me first pause this image thing until we put the image part the image library then we shall take care of these image things so let me go ahead and uh, come here to where there is image and just first get rid of this image for now just comment it all right so there you go now since this is now a marketplace i remember i been marking from my inventory management system this is a marketplace we might not need to put uh these profit all those things okay so let's remove that subtitle we remove that subtitle all right so we go ahead and uh, make it bigger uh we even disable the edit disable the edit because it will be us defining the products okay trailing let's remove that trailing all right so we go ahead and uh, and increase the what the text so i can make this a text fx and then put uh, title large okay or title medium all right so on the trailing okay maybe the leading i can make it maybe an icon of category something like that all right so let's make this list divider separated list and then we add that separated the separation yeah so maybe yeah that is okay so maybe we can um, put that we can sort these let's go ahead and sort stock items so let me go ahead and sort these items sort by name so we go ahead and sort them like that all right so there we go um so there we go i think that is okay only that uh this uh separated this divider we can make it a little bit thinner make it one so it can yeah i think that's that makes me that makes it much more better so they are sorted uh yep okay yeah so you can select uh let's go ahead and put here uh this search icon to make it white okay and give it maybe a size of maybe 30. yeah yeah there you go so someone can even be able to search okay so maybe this search text you can make it also white
all right so um now the next thing the next thing that we're going to do right now is uh to do what is to to let's go to these top categories so categories and then um what we're going to do um we're going to come here to stock, stock categories and uh, go to its listing endpoint, which is this one. And then we make these stock categories to be available for everyone. Okay. So how can we do that? Uh, can, uh, can make it. We're coming to our... API stock subcategories. I see it is here. Stock subcategories. Okay. This one is a route. Mm, so it's just sending the ID and the text. We want one like this. We want one like this for the stock subcategories. So I'll come to the project, to the web project. Let's go to the web project. To the web project. Now I'm going to create an override of this store subcategory. So to do so, we shall just simply come here. But the way there is this one of uh, API model here on top of it. I think, do we put on top of it or below it? I'm not sure there. Uh, I think we put below it to override it. Okay. Uh, so let's create an array of API stock subcategory. Aha. Uh -huh. So if we go ahead and say API stock subcategory like this. So we're going to it's going to be a get. Okay. So we're going to override a stock subcategory for this case. Now after doing so, um, we can put on top here. Let's put on top here before the model before this API model. Or can just actually put on top for this new API that we're going to be writing. So you have here the API controller. So you can just simply go ahead and say stock subcategory list. Then you got the API controller, and then just we're going to create an endpoint for the stock subcategory list. All right. So that is still stock subcategory list. So it's going to be much more of this that we already had here. It's going to be much more of this one that we already had. So let me just copy this. Command. Remove this one here. And put this. So we're going to get here. Well, we don't need the company. As I said, that it's going to be public. We don't need the company. We don't need a uh, response. So I just need get those subcategories. I remove the condition of company. So I put the where beginning. Uh, I don't need even to put. Just let's get all of them. All of them. All right. So after doing so, when I say data, so this data is going to be just a combination of. Uh, an ID so it's going to have the ID stock category ID and maybe the name are the two things that you're interested in and the name I hope that is a good structuring okay and then I don't know whether I need the measurement unit the measurement the measuring unit I don't know whether we need it however we can just return it as how it is here let's just return since we have the name text, let's just have return. Uh, so say utils success and then return store categories. I say maybe list successfully. So this one you can just get rid of it. Let's just first see that. All right, let's first see that. Okay, so let's go ahead and come to the mobile application. You see, this is just what is visual I've done. It's what is like that I've just done. You can even put it there with the function directly. So let's go ahead and refresh here. You see all the categories have come. That is so beautiful. Okay. 
that is so beautiful only that i need to add here name text because um oh, it maybe i should loop and get this name and the <laughs> uh, you can loop and get the name and uh, and uh, the what we override the name here so you can have the name as this with the story with the subcategory and the measuring in the measurement the measuring unit all right so um just simply come here so you're going to have data it's going to be just uh so going just simply say subcategory and then we get uh we say we've already its name say subcategory and let's say name equals to just as it is here and that's all we need and then we return okay so then you say uh, uh data data equals to we have paint that in there hope that's okay and then return here the data so let's see what we've got refresh for the first time refresh for the second time you see yeah that's what i wanted however um did not put a comma with the, with the subcategory i wanted to add there the the, the, the cut okay yeah i think it's there only that uh, i wanted to put here a comma instead of so kind of name text i just change this one to come instead of a dash so we have uh subcategory one clothing in kilograms subcategory two like something like that that's what i wanted okay that's what i wanted okay that is what i wanted however i can remove the measuring units something like that okay uh so yeah there we go 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 all right so yeah that's it so you can see how i've done it i can as well so let me come back here i can as well just get this let me show you the simple way to do it now I can just get this and then come and put it here then remove all these and to be the same results okay to give the same results all right so you see that's how i've approached it so this is on the web portal on the web portal also i've overridden the so we have overridden the sorry let me come here to api so we have overridden the store category model here okay we have overridden it so that's how you override it so anything that will not modify we shall just be writing on top of everything and then we write the final the logic for it so you see under api controller so that is beautiful then let's proceed so someone can be able to select a category they can even be able to search so if it's a stationary item go ahead and select it and then put the category it will be there and sorted all right so now we go to the stock item name so instead of calling them stock items what you can do we can uh, we can call them product eh? so let me come here to the stock create screen so instead of uh, putting here the name uh name so i can say maybe product name okay product name something like that to be required minimum length of three maximum length of maybe uh 250 characters okay or 350 characters that is enough for someone to type in so we come here and say enable suggestion to be true so here shall be collecting the name of an item all right so if i come here i can be able to enter the name of the item for example i can say simple product name something like that you get it eh? all right so do you need to manage sku for you either to generate batch number for you or it should be auto generated you can be able to do this okay so this one you can leave it there for the users to manage their shops all right so after doing so we go ahead and put the buying price so how much did you buy it okay so you can go ahead and say maybe seven thousand seven thousand and how much are you selling it nine thousand so nine thousand i mean uh, the selling price should always be less than 
I mean, the buying price should always be less than selling price. So you go ahead and do that. Uh, whoever can put not put the limit here can just enable you for for you to just put. So first, you'll be displaying the selling price on the front end. So this will just help you to calculate your profits and losses. Uh, then we ask you the original quantity. The original quantity. What was the original quantity that you purchased? Then we can say maybe I purchased. Uh, so let's put here quantity, 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 quantity. So original quantity. So one put here the units. Eh? One put here uh, original quantity bracket in units. Okay. So let's go ahead and just do the logic of, of original quantity. So we are going to put here. Uh, um, we're going to put here the measuring unit on this uh, stock lock item. Okay, let's let's just uh, simply put uh, measuring unit. Okay, let's put okay. Let's 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 put a category. Okay, let's let's make this one have a category. So if we come here, uh, we we are, we are picking the category here, stock item category. Okay. So it is under stock item category, this one here. So you can just simply come and get uh, what we can can we can come and, and give it also a category. So uh, I can, we can give this item, the stock item, stock item, we give it also a category parameter. So let me go to it. So this is the stock local model. I'll go ahead and give it a what? A category. So you just simply go ahead and put there subcategory. So it will have a variable. Of, of subcategory okay so you can just simply say category subcategory something like this so this subcategory this subcategory will be uh it will be a part it will be um <laughs> a subcategory of, 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 of what of uh of, uh, of, of this stock item all right so after doing that after doing that the next thing we're going to do we're going to come here to create screen now, when you're picking a category, when you're picking a uh, unit, I mean, original quantity, I mean, sorry, when you're picking a category here, while we're picking the category at this level, if the category that you've selected is successful, we can also go ahead and apply, update. So, widget, widget, item, subcategory to be the category that you've picked, which is uh, the one that you've selected. Okay? So, we shall also be setting the category object so you can maybe have enough context about this and then you go ahead and set state all right so well after doing that what you're going to do right now so we come here to original quantity original quantity original quantity here okay so you put uh we put here a bracket okay and then we go ahead and say if the widget if widget if widget item stock subcategory that id is less than what is less than zero or is less than one we just put a uh, maybe bracket units maybe in units okay or we can just simply leave it okay or we can just simply put a units Okay, you need to single it if you have not selected the category. Others, if the category is there, we go ahead and put uh, in, and then you put the stock item category, and then you put the measuring unit. I hope you can see that. So if you do like this, you see in units, you can see units. If we go ahead and select the category, let's come here and try to change the category. Let's say maybe it is serious, serious I measured in kilograms. So say serious, you see, it has changed here. Uh, what is it? Original, you see, in kg. You see, in kg. So that gives us uh, what? That gives us uh, more control on uh, our thing. Like, someone can be able to say that, okay, you are entering original quantity, maybe 500, but these are 500 what? 500 kg. So you can see how I have approached that. I've just added this one to the stock item subcategory, and I've done that logic. That when you're changing the stock item, I go ahead and update this one. And then I update these things accordingly. Alright, that's beautiful. We can do the same here. So it's the original quantity. 
let's copy that bracket and also come and put it here to the current quantity okay so you just only enter original quantity and then the current quantity will be calculated every time you make a sale all right so let's proceed now we come here now to enter the stock description so this stock description uh, we shall proceed and make it html or you can have an html input but for now let's just keep it simple let's give you a text editor but however before we proceed we shall give you ability to edit it using html all right so let's go ahead and say some simple details okay so i'll have here category photo i don't know when why we did that and why when we did it let's go ahead and change it so category photo let's go ahead and remove this we don't need it right now because the photo has been taken care of so everything is fine now you see everything is beautiful all right so so, so some simple details right yeah so that's it you see now able to upload all right so now this level we can be able to upload only that i'll need to this this plus this plus uh it is in actions i'll need to change it to check button and uh, i want it to be using i mean to be used to do what to be when it's called should also call do submit so do, do submit so this is our do submit so our do submit it is helping us to submit all right so when you're submitting uh let's first do validate so we'll first validate so this will do validation validate so we check if so if it is validated so if it is not validated you just simply say do util dot toast toast and then pass the what now message please fill the missing fields all right so in case that everything is not fine we'll go ahead and say please fill the missing fields all right so if it has finished we can go ahead and make sure that if it has validated properly we can go ahead and now upload the pro the images if they are there so you can just simply come and say uh, if uh we did the stock i mean sorry okay we can just simply go ahead and say uh await uh, upload upload do upload images you know this do upload is used for uploading images okay so we shall wait for it okay if the images there are some image that are still pending that have not been uploaded so can just surround this and try and catch try and catch all right so if it finishes if it fails we just put there some those fail to upload images something like that or maybe you can just ignore if images fail it's okay we can proceed all right so after uploading images now we proceed so remember here the load that is already shown it's showing uh so we we set the error to be nothing at that level let's make it to be set here to be nothing at that level hope you are together there then we go ahead and say we get our form data we get our what uh widget uh -huh, blah 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 we give the category created by id we put it there and then we go ahead and upload so in upload i don't need to call this one to may delay let me remove it so i'll show you how we can do it better way and then here immediately when it finishes uploading we hide the loader if the if the code is that has responded is not one i hope you're seeing that the logic code is there only that we need to modify it because it is the code that i shared with you if the code is not one i go ahead and show the error okay if the code is one i show success and then i navigate back so here at navigation back i, I want first comment it until we have um something that you actually want all right so there you go now let me try to upload upload submit so you see created successfully so the product has been created successfully so if you come here to our stock items so let's first determine the database that we are using market link come to stock items 
stock items you can see order by descending you can see the what the the product has been uploaded successfully it is here okay it has been uploaded successfully all right and the local id is there okay so we're going to put some hooks we're going to put some hooks so when you upload the product or when you upload it, update your product you're going to check if it has some images and then we link the images you remember these images are have to be linked to a product somewhere somehow somewhere so first of all we're going to limit you from uh, uploading the product with same local id so if it's not that same product whoever are going to do that at last so let's go ahead and say let's go ahead and go to to the price so this is the web portal i'll go to this this is what this is a uh, stock item i'll go to the stock item model stock um stock stock item model here it is then i'll go to the created hook so the creating hook creating hook so you have here the preparing so here we have the preparing that's we're going to do some validations and you know this preparing you're calling it both when you're creating and when you're doing what when you're submitting um so uh when it is prepared okay so we're going to do like when it is updated okay and when it is what it is uh when it is updated and when it is created so it's when it is updated we are having we are calling it update self okay so i'm going to go to this update self and uh, try to link this product with its respective images okay so let's go ahead and do that so i'll go to updated all right stock item stock item uh okay let's let's put here stock item so here when it has finished all right so here in when it is created we want to uh so these are subcategories and their categories all right i get it so here we want to link the images we can either do it one time or we can do it multiple uh in different scenarios or let's just do it in two in two times i mean two times so i'm going to just simply say all the image uh model so i'm going to get all the images so image models that has a parent local id of what we have uploaded to be having the id of the new product that i've just sub submitted right now so again say image image so what the image model here yeah, the image model okay ah, sorry image model let's look at its structure so again say so I say I'm going to say update image model where where about where the parent parent local ID is the parent local ID of the product that has been applied. Where parent local ID is local local ID for this stock item so we're going to check those images that were uploaded up, up, uh, updated before we're going to update them right now so just simply going to say image model and then you say where so image model where the parent local id equals to the image local id remember this image has just been uploaded but it has a local id and remember when we're uploading this when we're uploading these images before when we were uploading these images before we were telling them with a local id of this particular product that has, that has been uploaded so we get all of them that had this local id okay can i move this where or we can check even why it is a product or item is a product or we can just give it there then you say update and then you say parent id parent online id now this is like now like this is now that the, the, the relationship okay parent online id parent online id equals to parent online id equals to model id okay model id so this is the product that has just been created and then retention and then 
parent model type we can just leave this because of the product so that's all we need so by doing by running this it will go ahead and update all the images that we uploaded before we submitted this product remember we're uploading these images so it will get all of them and now link them with this id like this hope you get that so you can do that when you are uploading and also you can do that when we have updated yeah when you have updated all right you can do that also when you updated so i can just first comment these ones uh this talk uh, category generation you can first comment those ones for now you can look at them later okay let's okay let's comment them for now we can come back to them later all right so so let's leave them let's leave them then we shall use them to catch the quantities in the stock so this one is going down that's going to link the what the images however also on the images we can do the reverse like an image that has been uploaded updated before we shall get if there is any image which if there is any product with that particular parent id and then we update it we shall do it that later let's first finish this okay let's first finish this so let's go ahead and uh, update again so i submit so it has been updated successfully so now if you come now to the images that we just uploaded Let's see if they, they actually changed. So you come to the browsing. Come the most latest images. Now we'll see that. Uh, where is parent? You see? Aha, this is what I wanted to show you. Can you see that? You can now see that the parent online ID has been updated to the product that has, was created. I hope you can see that okay the parent online id has been updated to the product that was created that is so nice okay so i mean that now we can link this product with its parent so you can either link them by the id you can or can link them by the what by the online id so that is so nice that is really really beautiful okay so um after doing that after doing that after doing that let's proceed let's proceed so let's proceed now another thing that i want to do here is that uh for the product for the product that uh, okay let, let's let's first also undo another thing here limiting limiting let's limit uh let's limit let's limit um a product a uh, uh, parent id i mean this unique id to be created only one time the local id to be created one time so we shall do that by coming to the creating, creating, what is creating, 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 creating. Okay, so creating is where, creating is here. So here on top of everything, we just first say uh, uh, local ID. So make sure that you have the local ID. So it's going to be uh, model and then we get its local ID. So we check if local ID is null or the length is less than we say that our lock id will always be less than five if the length is less than five let's throw an error so it shall not allow someone to submit a product without a lock id so we throw an error and say exception invalid local id right we throw that error that's the first condition let's get a duplicate a duplicate so a duplicate is going to be we get stock item where the local id is that first so we check if it is not null that's the first condition if it is not null and it is being created we can throw that error okay if it is not null then you can say this is a what it's a duplicate you get it all right so we can also do the same in the creating in the creating i mean in the updating 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 so updating so if you say that you're updating a product let's get the local ids that's going to be our minimum requirement local id is that and then you check if local id is null with one exception that local id is null we get the stock item i mean we get we get the local uh, the item with that id and then we check if the local id is not null at the same time the local id the local id if the local id is not null 
at the same time um at the same time the id of this particular item is not the same then you can say duplicate of local id and then you throw an error so by doing like that we shall not be able to have duplicates of uh, local ids right we can do the same also on the image right so let's uh, finalize with the image uh linking like on the image side when you upload an image immediately it should link with its parent okay okay so let's go to image image model okay so let's put some boot all right so let's remove this this so so get its parent so it's going to be uh we check if if the type is product if uh we have here the image types our time is up we can going to go let's finalize with this if the type is product if the type is product okay then you get the stock item Okay, we say stock item, then we say uh, where, where the local ID of that stock item equals to the uh, parent, parent local ID of what has been selected is equal to parent local ID. We check if is not null is not null then we go ahead and say then this image this image this image it's it's parent online id it's parent online id parent online id equals to uh equals the stock item id so that's how we can be linking the images that come while the item has been lock, uh, uploaded already, something like that. All right. Okay, so that's that's okay. That's fine. And uh, so if I try to upload this, uh, you see that the local ID is a duplicate, and that will not be accepted. Try to upload it. Local ID is a duplicate, and that will not be accepted. All right. That is so nice. So lastly, uh, you can see these products. It is there. So we will be working now on the on the what on the on the logic of uh, on the logic of we're going to work on the logic of uh, of updating the of updating it and also maybe getting those products that are are offline. Remember, you are, you remember when you're updating this product, you are updating it while it is offline. So you need to check what if you did not finish uploading it. What should happen when the product is offline so that's what you're going to do in the next lecture but at this point you can see at least we can be able to upload the product it is now online now in the next lecture we shall be starting from there working with the images putting the caching images at least in the next lecture we should be towards if not finishing the uh the uploading of products because that is where the whole uh logic really is based on because the product the, the system will be basing on the product so we shall put the energy in there and once we finish there now we can pro we can proceed to the what the product listing so that's it for today i pray that you don't give up keep pushing until you finish the entire thing unless there is a question otherwise if there's no question i will call that a day and uh, we meet in the next lecture all right, good. Duncan, have you been there? Duncan. All right. Goodbye and see you in the next lecture.